Hi, Salam Alaikum, and peace be unto you. This is a book reading of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad book, How to Eat to Live, Book One. From God in Person, Master Farad Muhammad, by Elijah Muhammad, Messenger of Allah, How to Eat to Live, Book One. The chapters that will be read today are chapters 11 and 12, pages 32 and 35. Chapter 11, The Proper Food and the Proper Time to Eat It. And Chapter 12, The Right Food and the Proper Time to Eat It is Becoming a Must. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. The proper food and the proper time to eat it. Eating the proper food that has been given to us and taught to us by our God and Savior, Master Farad Muhammad, to whom praises are due forever, changes us in many ways. Not only does it give us good health, but it gives us a better way of thinking, as food and our mental power in the same way. Whatever Whatever affects one affects the other. Eating the proper food also brings about a better surface appearance. Our features are beautified by the health that the body now enjoys from eating of the proper food and also eating at the proper time. Bad food takes away even the beauty appearance of a person. God taught me that the swine hog takes away three one hundred percent of the beauty appearance of a person. This we can easily understand and see after we stop eating it. The medical scientists also will agree with us that the poisonous flesh of the hog will take away three one hundredths percent of your beauty appearance. There are some people who have eaten so much of this ugly, poisonous animal, and he is the ugliest and silliest acting animal you have ever looked upon and been around as well as the filthiest animal that you have ever dealt with, that they actually look like that animal. It is divinely prohibited flesh. It is a sin for you to eat it. The enemy of God, the devil, teaches you to eat it, and he eats it himself to show you how little respect he has for God's divine law against eating this prohibited flesh. He drinks all of the intoxicating drinks, offers them to us, and then preaches the same gospel in the church that thou shall not eat the pig, thou shall not drink intoxicating liquor, thou shall not rob, steal, murder, commit adultery, gamble, hate, and lie to one another. Yet, he is doing that hourly. Everything that God says thou shall not do, In the Ten Commandments given to Moses, they say thou shall do. It was only a waste of God's time to have given this race of evil people good guidance. Because it is just as Jesus said in a parable, the wicked husband who was given overlord of the earth and its people never did offer the true owner any of the hair a convert of righteousness. We have nothing to fear or worry about in the way of right guidance today, because we have God himself in person with us to lead and guide us in the way of truth and righteousness. There is a lot of difference in the beauty of true Muslims and that of Christians. I do not mean to say that there are no beautiful Christians or black people who eat the hog, but there is a difference in their appearance of beauty that can easily be discovered by one who obeys this divinely prohibited law against eating swine flesh. The poisonous hog flesh makes the color of many people's eyes muddy and reddish in appearance and makes the people who eat it brazen, careless, easy to anger, fight and oppose each other. Eat the proper food as given in this book and eat at the proper time, one meal a day from 4 to 6 p.m. Chapter 12, The Right Food and the Proper Time to Eat It is Becoming a Must. To live without sickness and without fear of a short span of life is now a must for the people who expect to see the hereafter. The way that God, in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, to whom praises are due forever, is teaching us the lost found members of the Aboriginal nation is the best way. Regardless of what it is, whether it concerns food, mental stability, or what have you, he teaches us in the best way. I offer you his teachings. It is up to you to accept or reject them. 
but I repeat, his is the best way, as he says in his Holy Quran. I, Allah, am the best nor. Chapter 2, verse 1. Since he represents himself as the best nor, then it is nothing but intelligence on our part to follow and obey the best nor, who gives the best advice and whose guidance is best for our future, regardless of what we desire. He is the best nor of what guidance we should have. There are many disbelievers, infidels, and atheists today. As the Bible teaches, the, pool, the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. These ignorant sayings and attacks made against truth go for nothing today, but condemnation with truth. We do not have the type of God that they were taught of. Some spook God and man. But there are supreme men among men, and the, this supreme one is referred to as God, having infinite wisdom and knowledge over all things. There will be no sickness or disease among us. We learn and obey the law of nature. The law of nature is a divine law the Creator set for us in the beginning of the creation of the universe. This race, white of people, has ignored and disobeyed this law and has met with disaster. They seek and have tried throughout their civilization to change the very natural religion of the black man. But time has proved that the white man was a failure and now has met his unnatural and false teachings and practices with truth and reality of the law of nature and its workings among the created creatures of God. This law is now to defend us against the false guidance and rebelling of this race white. Let the white man eat all the hog he wants. It was made for him, not for us. It was made for a cure for many of their diseases and is used for solves. If you want to enjoy good health, eat only once a day and nothing between meals if you are not sick. There is an allowance made for the sick ones who sometimes are not able to eat enough at one meal to take them over to the next meal or whose bodies are weak and must be built up for the one meal a day. In this case, they sometimes eat two meals a day, but never three. If you can eat one meal every other day, you will enjoy both health and a longer life. Even the men and women who do strenuous mental work can go along with one meal a day if they eat the proper food and never want more than that. This concludes the reading of chapters 11 and 12 of chapter 11, the proper food in the proper time to eat it, and chapter 12, the right food in the proper time to eat it, becoming a must. All praise is due to Allah. Thank you so much for reading and listening with me. Like, subscribe, and share the channel. In order to, if you would like to order the books by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, go to store.finalcall.com and also listen to the Final Call Radio which has inspirational lectures, teachings, and music of the most honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Thank you so much. Inshallah, Allah willing, the reading will continue until the completion of both books one and two. May Allah bless everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. Until next time, peace.